Alright you guys, so in the last video what we did is we were pretty much sitting there and waiting for a connection from someone else. Well now we are connected to someone else, so what we need to do now is we need to set up the streams or the pathways of communication to and from the other computer. So in order to do that we need to code a method called setup streams, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So underneath your wait for connection method, go ahead and make another connection connection and what this is going to do is you know uh, get stream to send and receive data so this is of course going to be private it's not going to return anything void set up not steams or I do want some steamed corn right now okay set up streams and this is going to throws IO exception. All right, now, okay, deep breath, deep breath. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is, well, let's go ahead and set up the output stream. Now, remember, like I said, a stream is a way that you communicate with another computer, and you do that through streams. So, output stream is the stream that allows you to output messages, output crap to someone else. So, this is really easy. First of all, Remember that we coded these variables for output and input streams right at the top, output and input stream objects. So that's what we're creating right now in case you guys are lost. So new object output stream and as a parameter this takes your connection so it knows, you know, okay you're connected to someone, what stream am I building? Connection get output stream. So basically what we're doing in this line of code is creating the pathway that allows us to connect to another computer. What connection or what computer do we want to connect to? Well, whatever computer this socket created. So now what we want to do is now that we have that pathway, it's just good housekeeping to do output flush. And the reason for this is because sometimes whenever you try to send st something, the way that um, messaging works is they have to deal with buffers and bytes and uh, sometimes bytes get left over in the buffer, buffer. How can I explain this? Sometimes data gets left over when you try to send something to someone else. So imagine that, you know, in order for you to connect to someone else, you both have water pipes. So sometimes there's some crap left over in the water pipe. What you want to do is flush it out or push the rest of the crap through to the other person. That's basically what it does. Um, most of the time you shouldn't have any crap left over, but just in case you want to flush the rest of it out of your stream and send it to the other person. And again, whenever I'm talking about crap, I mean bytes of information you know just a little analogy so the next thing we need to do after this is now that we can send crap away from our toilet we need to be able to accept crap in to our toilet aka computer so the input stream is much like the output stream in order to set it up new object input stream and as a parameter it takes connection get input stream right like that. So this is how you set up the pathways to send things out and this is how you set up the pathway to receive stuff from someone else and by stuff I mean the messages that you guys are sending. So now that our streams are set up and by the way they don't have to set up or you can't set up um, a flush right here because only they can flush their toilet or only they can push bytes through their computer so whenever they code their program um, they have to flush the rest of their crap to you you can't you know reach over to their house flush it to you only they can do that so that's why you know I only put a flush on ours our output and not on their input but anyways once your streams are set up then what you need to do is just give you guys a nice little prompt show message just say you know what your streams are now set up so we'll do that right now uh, I'll just put something stupid. Streams are now set up, and there you go. So again, the only errors we should have right now is this show message uh, little method that we didn't create yet. But basically, like I said, all it does is display a message on your screen. So again, what we did so far is we created two methods. 
we now can wait for a connection and once a connection is made with someone else we can set up the streams which basically sets up the pathway to connect to someone else in case whenever we send a message some crap gets left behind just push it through to them just good housekeeping in Java and we also set up the pathway where they can send messages to us now once everything is set up then I'm just gonna go ahead and output a message on the screen that says you know what streams are now set up you can now go ahead and start having a conversation with them and that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video coding this method while chatting which is actually a pretty in-depth method it's the code that allows you to have the actual, um, you know, messaging, chatting session with them. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.